If you're looking to buy, repair, sell, update, or restore your Apple Mac, Minko's Max offers a personal, genuine service to all customers with many years of experience and specialist technicians in store. Okay, so here we have the Mac Pro that was dubbed as the trash can. So the issue with this Mac Pro was the GPUs were cutting out, causing a black screen. So if you're getting a black screen, this is a possible fix for you. I won't be going through the full, um, all the steps, the full steps for this, but it's very simple. So you will want to first turn it upside down. And then there will be screws around here that you want to take off. So you want to go ahead and remove those screws. Now once you remove it, you should be able to pull it up like this. Now this top board, which I will just show now. So this top board is the board that connects to the CPU, connects the GPUs, and also connects the rear I.O. So you have your first GPU here, which will have the SSD connector. Then you'll have your second GPU that does not have the SSD connector. These are two different type of cards. So to remove these, what you want to do is, you want to first go ahead and lift this. Now this can be rather tricky to lift, so be careful doing this, as you can damage the machine doing this. You may need a spudger for this. So you wanna go ahead and lift this. Be very careful doing this as I will show you why in a second. Now, if you take a look, the interconnect is very fragile. So once you've done that, you wanna go ahead and remove these two power supply screws. Now, bear in mind these power supply screws, they are not your standard Torx. They are the security bits. So that would be a T8H as it needs the tiny the tiny pushback inside the driver, so the small hole that will allow this Torx bit to go inside, otherwise it will not go inside. So you wanna go ahead and remove that. Bear in mind, do not mix up these screws, they are for the power supply. They are made from a specific type of metal as well. And do not lose these washers that are attached to them. So you wanna go ahead and remove that. Go ahead and remove this bracket here, and the card should just come straight off. You may need to use a bit of force as there is some thermal pads, so it may seem a bit stuck in place. You may just need to lightly use a bit of force. Once you've done that, you want to change the thermal paste for the core. And you would want to repeat this across both of these GPUs. So once you've done that, you just go ahead and close it. And then you go ahead, go ahead and test the machine just to make sure everything's running fine with the temperature. If that still does not fix it, you may need to do what's considered a service on this. So you will need to end up opening this top part up, which requires that you carefully remove these interconnects. So it has a total of three. So the easiest way you can do this is to actually get under there and push it up. Now, I'm not gonna do that as it's kind of difficult right now. So once you've done that, there's two screws that secure this part. You wanna take that off and you wanna remove this bottom part with the fan. Now, with the fan, you have to be careful as there is a cable there that is screwed on. So do not yank this bottom bit off. Then you just wanna go ahead and clean out the dust. This is because the CPU, which is hidden under here where the power supply is as well, the CPU and both these Fire Pro GPUs are connected to one heatsink in the center. 
that's how this cools. So you have one triangular heat sink, the air comes up through here and pushes out these sides. So that's a possible fix to having random cutouts and black screens on this uh, machine, which is quite common. It's just not a lot of people service this. So it is important that you properly service this Mac Pro, otherwise you will end up with certain issues to do with the GPUs, as this is running a dual GPU configuration. So yeah, that's all there really is to this. And then you just go ahead, close it up, and you test it, make sure everything's working fine.